I was somewhat optimistic at the title of the first episode being Red Light, Green Light, but this episode being called Hell, I kind of think I know what to expect. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Squid Game, episode two, like I said, called Hell. Last episode, that was a roller coaster. We had so many people in crippling financial situations that literally could do nothing else but participate in these Squid Games to get them some mo the money they need potentially to, to help out, their, to change their lives. But after being knocked out, put into uniforms, signed the contract, gone through the weird stair maze, and then played Red Light, Green Light where the vast majority of people died, the vast majority, I don't know what's going on through their mind now. I need some sort of character dialogue so I can so I can see what's going on through their mind because I am shook. And then realizing that it enclosed in and it's on its own little fucking island in the like what? This is gonna be crazy. I mean, people are still talking about this, like this show is like beloved, so I'm very looking forward to it. I say we just hop right on into this. I'm super excited. Don't forget, if you guys want to watch the full-length version of this and any of the other shows I'm watching or early access to any of the shows I'm watching, I do have a Patreon. Links are down in the description, like always, for you guys. Don't forget to like and comment on this video if you guys can. It really does support the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much, much appreciated. Let's hop into this. Squid Game, Episode 2, Hell. Also, real quick before we get into this episode, I did hear a lot of your guys' thoughts and comments on watching this in the English, not English CC subs for because of the translation errors and stuff like that. So with that being said, it's going to be English, just plain English from now on. I, I don't know if I'll notice a difference, but I know you guys will. You guys are the experts. So I'll hop into this. I'm just letting you guys know that real quick. Oh, this music. Oh, Loki gave me chills right there. Eerie as fuck. Are they cremate? Are those presents? Give me some of the backstories on these employees as well. Why are they so cool with doing this kind of shit? I don't know if, I, if I'd be cool doing this. Right off into that fire intro. Squid Game. Now think again of what you want to say. And now... But now I think they're going to show the money of how what you can possibly win to entice some people to stay. Yep, this is the ultimate, like, fucking, I don't want to say bribe, but the ultimate thing that's going to convince you. Someone commented the conversion of won to USD and... But I, I, I forgot what it was. If you guys could re-comment the conversion, I would like to know what we're, what we're dealing with in terms of... Oh, in terms of money and prize. I love that shot though. The goldenness from the piggy bank. Like I said, I don't know how much that is, but that sounds like fucking a lot. Now for him, we know his motivation is his daughter. We know he has to save her, get custody. So I feel like he's gonna keep going. That even by itself shocked me. I'm, I'm already shook. Got to relook at the money. Damn, that is a fuck ton of money. Yeah, I'll do it. Fuck it. I know exactly what's going on in her mind right now. Now he seems like a smart guy, but he also seems very confident in himself. So I could, I could totally see him keep going. He needs this money, and he's very smart. The strategy he came up with in the first game to hide behind someone else's body. The old man. Oh, yep. We know it's going to keep going. God damn it. He literally has nothing to lose. My man is saying yes, and I feel so bad that they have to continue with these games. Just... He said no? Wow. That's not what I was expecting at all. Already full of plot twists in this show. They actually let him out. <laughs> like fucking tied up and threw him out of the van. 
<laughs> I think that is pickpocket. I know a lot of people have been talking about her as like an actress and she like is like a breakout star of this show. So I'm expecting her to be a real big main character, but she really is very beautiful. And now he is bothering her about the money. <laughs> God damn it. Come on, June. Oh, your loans are soul police. Oh, yeah. I mean, it makes so much sense with his life and how much it's crashing that he would definitely want to continue the games. Saying Wu is genuinely seems like a good guy. So I'm trying to remember what they specifically said about his situation. Like he siphoned money from clients and I forget where it led from that, but he's obviously in a heap load of trouble and he's, he's needs to face those consequences. But outside of that, he seems like a businessman who's made a lot of right decisions in terms of going to like Seoul university and a whole bunch. I remember, uh, Ji Hoon was talking to his mom when she was working at the market and you know, there are a lot of people, even in this group of the people who voted on the games, I could see not letting, I kind of call him 199 until I learned his name, but I could see a lot of people not even letting him use their phone, not buying them food, but he's going out of his way to make sure he, cause I, you know, like there is a genuine, like he is in one of those desperate situations where he needs the money. You know, that's, that's, there's no denying that. But outside of that, I think he's a good guy. I'm trying to just get a feel for everyone's personality in terms of this. Cause I know it's going to play a major role. Like Ji Hun so far seems like a a morally questionable person, you know. 199 and Sang Woo seem like good guys. We have Pickpocket Girl and ta Tattoo Boss Man. They she seems like she could be a nice girl, but because of the life she lived before, she will never trust anyone. She will never go out of her way for anyone because no one would go out of the way for her. I I understand it. It's just. This is very interesting. They're setting up a lot of these characters very uniquely. And I can tell I'm going to have some favorites by the end of it. Hearing how that sounds is it's not believable at all. Oh my god. See how that just doesn't sound believable? Yeah, that looks horrible on Ji Hun, but damn, man, I feel so bad. That kid took a notice of the card, looked at Ji Hun. I wonder what he's going to be thinking. I wonder what mom's going to be thinking. Oh no, what is going on? Looks like Sang Woo's mom. Yep. Emergency medical center. Oh my god. Diabetes. God damn it. She is a savage. Yeah. Yeah, I feel for her, man. Yeah, I was in the hospital for a week, and you guys should have seen that bill. That's horrible. I couldn't picture my mom being in that situation. Now he needs to play. So this is the kid from earlier talking about someone being reported missing i'm going to his dorm curious at who he's talking about the same card he saw at the station is this pickpocket what are you doing pickpocket is this some sort of orphanage foster home type situation Older sister, I'm assuming. So, this police officer is investigating the disappearance of someone he knows. 
Ali is at number 199. I finally learned his name. Let's go. My boy. Oh my god. I hope he doesn't get held liable for that. Oh yeah. I remember the guy with the tattoo last episode said she was from North Korea. And so I wonder if the family was able to escape as a whole mom, dad, son, daughter, but only the parents got taken back. Hmm, I'm definitely curious. Hmm. Definitely curious. So that's what they're talking about. The brokers who were supposed to help find her parents ran off with the money last time. And so now she's trying to get a new broker. And this is how it's going. And you better find the parents. Oh, and she pickpocketed him while she was there. She's savage. She's nasty. Look how happy she is. He just wants her son to be happy. Oh, <laughs> You can tell it's literally crushing his heart, having to lie to her, having to live this life, you know? Oh, you never want the police asking about your children like this. Oh, it's the last thing a mom wants to hear. Time, midnight, June 23rd, place, same as previous. So they're not giving you a number to call this time. They're just handing everyone who participated last a card, saying, hey, if the majority re-wants to ignite the spark, then come do it. That's why I assumed he would keep it going earlier, but he did the right thing, ending the games, you know? But now that he can just re-go in himself, you know? That's the tattoo, man. So what are you gonna do? What's the plan? Beat up the mask guy, break into their safe. I mean, we're talking billions of won, you know? I mean, he also had to have been some sort of financial situation to even be chosen or to do the squid game, so that's a... You know, in the Philippines. Okay, talk about getting a last hit in. Is this the X? Yeah. That's a picture. Mm. Yeah, this is a rough situation, man. Having to ask an X who you left on bad terms with. I believe her. I mean, I don't know if I believe her. They went to a steakhouse and stuff. I don't, I don't know. This is horrible. I really wouldn't feel comfortable asking. You know, this is just a fuck situation. I don't 
Oh no, the timing is horrible. But that story was horrible too. Wow. Kinda like I'll do this for you, but make this the last time. You don't need to. Oh. Oh no, and she young saw this too. Oh, that's heartbreaking. He just wants to be seen as a good man, good father, good son. He's having this whole world. Just everyone is Ali, the boss man. Uh, pickpocket, Sang Wu, Ji Hun, all. We're getting just glimpses into all their lives this episode. Yep, I love how it's showing all of our characters, same place. Dude, I love those cuts too. They all gotta go back, they all gotta do it. Oh man, bro, this show is gonna be so good, I could tell. Yeah, man, I'm loving these shots. I love the characters and their motivations all very unique all very realistic all very tragic man i can't wait to finish the show and finally get some of the answers i've been waiting oh is that the detective following him maybe he will get some answers on his brother Ooh, i like this little side storyline this little plot thread as well I'm really enjoying that she also is not knocked out as well she's a savage how does she not get she, she, she holding her breath Okay, we got a couple of savages here. Absolutely fantastic setup episode. Like, they, they hit the ground rolling in the first one trying to get you, like, invested. And now that you're invested, you get, like, double invested in terms of this episode. Like, I've said it multiple times throughout the episode, but the motivations and the reasons as to why these characters are in these situations are so realistic and this shit does actually happen and it makes so much sense you know and i, I really enjoy how they're all different and all tragic i think i'm gonna go through them because ji hun our main character we've seen him go through the works you know he has done i don't want to say horrible things but things that would not make his mother proud you know canceling the insurance just taking all the money he can gambling it being so much in debt and to the point where she's working so hard she's living like she like she would have noticed obviously she noticed that pain she that would have been a horrific pain on her feet but she kept going anyway because she knew she had to like such a fantastic mother saying Wu's mother also so sweet like such a good mom so proud of her son and then to get like I don't want to say bombarded but to get like kind of ambushed like that in her own market with a customer who was also just hyping up your son by the police oh I felt I felt for saying Wu in that bathtub getting drunk just hating life horrible couldn't picture doing that to my mom Jesus and then you have pickpocket I need to learn her name trying to help out her herself and her brother trying to get offer a better life you know with the parents paying whatever money i'm guessing the money that she pickpocketed from ji hoon is how she paid the last broker who just ran off with it she's not taking that no more also very understandable ali with his wife i'm assuming and, and child you know just trying to make a better life for them he was in a horrible situation in terms of his work situation like he was owed money and the the boss is kept him like an indentured servant and just wouldn't pay him so he could never come out of this servitude awful completely understand the old man i also it's not i mean it's horribly tragic but he's just you know doesn't have much time to live doesn't want to waste the last days of his life wants to do something with it i understand it boss man with the fucking tattoo <laughs> lost money in the philippines a lot of money in the philippines and they were willing to come all the way out here to take his liver his kidney his eyes whatever they could to get that money. oh my god that's crazy i completely understand i completely get it we gotta have oh this is going to be a crazy show i have one two three like four five irl friends who have been just raving about this show lately so cannot wait to keep watching i am super invested and the detective i like his storyline too i was trying to find his brother but it, because his brother wasn't released and didn't come back to his dorm i'm assuming his brother was one of the victims 
I have no idea. I have to know more. I'm so curious, man. The show is so good. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out full length if you guys want to. It's over on the Patreon. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's, uh, <laughs> I was about to say, let's hop into this like I'm doing my intro. Don't forget to drink some water. Be safe. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, you guys. Peace.